Hi, this video is going to demonstrate once again how to um, create a data connection and to steal the connection string from that data connection for your ADO.NET Windows application and also for web applications you would do the same thing. So what we want to do in Visual Studio is to um, bring up the Server Explorer and I already have it showing but if you don't have it showing you can get it from the View menu and see where it says Server Explorer here. You can click it and you can also pin it so that it will hide itself. I suggest you pin it because you may be using this uh, from time to time. I know you will be in your ADO.NET Classroom demo. So in order to connect to a SQL Server database and get the information, the metadata about that database, we want to right click on Data Connections, Add Connection, and then in the server name we can drop it down if you have more than one instance of SQL Server installed and choose the server name that you want or if you only have one instance of SQL Server installed on your local machine you can type localhost and that really means give me the default instance on whatever server I'm connected to at the moment I have two versions of SQL Server on this machine, so rather than typing in localhost, I'm going to go ahead and drill down on this and choose my server, which is Karen Office 2012 Karen. I'm going to use Windows Authentication this time because we're working in a Windows environment here, creating a Windows application, and so using our um, operating system login would would work just fine for us. So I'm going to use Windows Authentication here and then I'm going to select the database that I want to connect to from the Connect to a Database drop down and I'm just going to connect to my Pubs 2012 database and if you want you can test the connection. You can see that it's successfully connected to that database and I'm going to say OK. And when I do that you can see that what I have here, eventually, what I have here is a connection to Karen Office SQL 2012 Karen Pubs 2012. And I actually have a little mini version of Management Studio here. I can drill down on tables. I can drill down on any of the tables and see their columns. And if I want to look at the properties of that column, I can right click it and I can choose properties and over on the right hand side over here you can see that the properties of that column show up. It's a ver care and I can see that it's not an identity column and see the name of that column. So you can do that for any of the tables in any of the columns here. But what we're really interested in in the classroom demo is we wanted to get a connection string for this particular database. So if I click on it you can see the properties window has already come up so I'm going to get rid of this and expand that properties window out or, or you can just right click it and say properties same thing. You notice that there is in the properties window a connection string property and it indicates data source and this is my server name so data source is the server name semicolon initial catalog which really means the database name so that's pubs 2012 here and then semicolon and integrated security equals true which just means I'm using the Windows security it's going to use my current Windows login to authenticate me to SQL Server and since we're all logged in as administrator that makes us the boss of SQL Server so anyhow I'm going to just copy this connection string and then I'm going to place that connection string where I need to use it in my application. So I'm going to look at Solution Explorer and in our classroom demo we actually went into, uh, we're using a Windows app, but same thing here in a web app. I'm going to open the config file. In our Windows app it would be called app.config and there would be hardly anything in here, but in our web applications, it's the same thing. We would find the connection strings section. And if you don't have that, it goes under configuration and you would just create a connection strings element and then use the add 
element Intellis once again IntelliSense is going to help you do this. I'm going to go to the end of this one and add a new one just to show you. Add, give your connection a name, call it something. I'm going to call it Pubs Connection and I don't need a space there. I need a quote and then the next thing would be the connection string and I'm just going to paste that connection string right in there and also provider name would be our system.data.sql client so I'm going to just type that in there or copy and paste it right in the provider so that tells us tells your application who the provider of the database is. In this case it's the SQL client. So that's all there is to creating a connection and a connection string in your config file. It's web config in a web application. It's app.config in your Windows applications. I happen to have a web application open here. But once again it goes in the connection strings element goes into an add element with the attributes name, connection string, and provider name. So that's how we go about doing that.